This video will show you how to use your Matrice 30 for the first flight. Device Activation Press the power button once, then press and hold the button again for several seconds to power on the remote controller and the aircraft to enter the DJI Pilot app. Then the activation page will pop up automatically on the app. Read related terms. Authorize the use of device information. Select a usage scenario for the device. Confirm the account activation information. Tap Activate. Tap Restart Now to complete the activation. Make sure the aircraft and the remote controller are connected during the activation. Linking. The remote controller is linked to the aircraft at the time of delivery. To relink, tap Remote Controller Linking on the home page of the DJI Pilot app. During the linking, the status indicator of the remote controller will blink blue and give three recurring beeps. Press and hold the power button on the aircraft for five seconds or more, and the power indicator will flash, indicating the aircraft has entered its linking mode. The status indicators of the remote controller and the aircraft will be solid green after linking is successful. First flight. Open the safety box. Take out the Matrice 30 aircraft, TB30 intelligent flight battery, and the remote controller. Unfold the frame arms. Check whether the arm folding button pops up in place and make sure the frame arms are locked firmly. Place the aircraft on an open, unobstructed horizontal surface. Unfold the propellers. Install the aircraft battery. And check whether the battery release toggles are in place. Unlock the gimbal lock. Power on the aircraft and the remote controller. Run the DJI Pilot app and tap Ready to take off. Complete the pre-flight checklist as prompted on the app. Unfold the antenna of the remote controller and adjust its position to ensure the aircraft is always in the optimal communication range. Take off and landing. Maintain a safe distance of at least 5 meters from the aircraft and operate the aircraft by facing its rear. Start the motor with the left and right joysticks by pushing the two joysticks forward or away from each other. When the propellers are spinning, gently push the throttle stick to take off manually. Using Mode 2 as an example, the left stick of the remote controller controls the flight altitude and nose direction. The right stick controls forward, backward, left, and right flight. The flight pause button pauses the aircraft in any flight condition, making it hover in the air. Press and hold the RTH button of the remote controller to start a smart RTH. On the video transmission screen, you can see the current flight distance, altitude, speed, and other parameters. Tap the photo recording button to switch between photo taking and video recording modes. Tap the playback button to view and download photos or videos. Use the left and right dials of the remote controller to adjust the pitch and yaw angles of the gimbal. Tap L1, L2 to quickly switch among three cameras, infrared, zoom, and wide angle. Tap R1, R2 to zoom in and out the zoom cameras. Double tap the target point to make the gimbal and camera quickly align with the target. Tap the laser ranging icon to enable the laser ranging function. Align the cross cursor with the measured target. At this time, RNG indicates the relative distance between the target and the aircraft, while ASL indicates the altitude of the target. Tap to enter the camera settings menu. Night mode is automatic by default. When lighting conditions are bad, the camera will automatically switch to night mode. The purpose is to make full use of more light to improve the low-light performance. In infrared mode, use the spot meter function to tap and measure the temperature at any spot on the screen. Use the area measurement function to select the area of interest and move it freely. The highest, lowest temperatures of the area will be displayed on the screen. In addition, you can set the high temperature alarm function as needed. Tap the palette and isotherm icon. Adjust the palette based on scenario needs. Hot Swapping Battery The battery hot swap is available for the Matrice 30. Battery replacement can be done without powering off the aircraft. 
Toggle the battery switch. Remove the battery on one side and replace it with the backup battery. If the battery indicator lights up, it suggests that this battery is installed in place and the battery on the other side can be replaced. Power off and store. Power off the aircraft. Gently rotate the tilt axis of the gimbal upward to 90 degrees with no tilt shaking, ensuring that it is locked in place. Press and hold the arm folding switch to fully fold the arms and propellers. Power off the remote controller. Put the aircraft and the remote controller into the safety box. Close and fasten the safety box latch. Thank you for watching.